In this video, I will walk you through how to use the Bloomberg machine with Excel in order to build a very simple stock screening model. Uh, when you go to the Financial Study Center on the, on the first floor of the business building, you'll see several computers. The computers that have two screens are the ones you want to use. You'll see that they have the word Bloomberg at the bottom of the screen. So when you log into that computer, just like, like you would log into any other UTSA machine, when you log in, you'll see a button that says Bloomberg. Just, just double click on that and we'll bring up the Bloomberg system. Um, and then just do enter or go to begin. And you have a login screen. If you don't have a login, look down here at the bottom on the left. It says create a new login. You can just click on that, follow the instructions, make sure you have a cell phone so that you can uh, receive a code from them. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my password, my name and password. And this brings up the entry page. Sometimes you'll get little error messages like we have here that the software is going to be updating. Sometimes the machines, because of these upgrades or because of other reasons, the Bloomberg machine is not functioning. So you may have to switch machines. This one's okay. At least at the end of the month, we'll see how it works. The IT people are supposed to keep these machines up and running. So hopefully it'll work. If a machine that's not working, you might um, let Professor Sweet know or put a note on it so that IT people know that it needs to be fixed. But this machine still works right now, but it may not uh, when the software upgrade comes up. So. Um, there's a lot to learn on the Bloomberg machine. We're actually going to be working, spending most of our time in Excel using the Bloomberg link. But it'd be really, really helpful to learn Bloomberg. And you can do it on your own, on your own because Bloomberg has within its system a training module. If you type the letters B as in boy, E as in Edward, S, S, B, E, S, S, you see Bloomberg Essentials Online Training. Um, they have an instructions button that shows you you know, you have the core program, uh, walks you through different videos and exams you can take. So if you watch these videos, um, and you can actually take the exams on the videos, and they'll send you acknowledgement of the exams that you can put onto your resume that you've actually completed these sections of the Bloomberg um, program, and that you've passed those exams and have the acknowledgement, and then that gives you good evidence when you apply for jobs that you have some experience with Bloomberg. But Bloomberg's a fairly intense, extensive system, so it will take a while to learn all of it. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bring in a large number of stocks. Probably one of the best indices to use is the Russell 3000 Stock Index. The Russell 3000 Stock Index has 3000 stocks in the U.S. and all different sectors and industries. I just happen to know that the, the ticker for that index is R-A-Y. If I didn't know that, I could do a search and look for it. You could actually type in the word Russell 3000. You can see it tells me that's what it is, R-A-Y. It's an index, so I can click on that. It brings up the Russell 3000, and I have this whole menu of things to choose from. What I actually want to see all the stocks, so I'm going to use number six. Will show me all the members of the Russell 3000. And when I do that, you see that the Russell 3000 comes up. It brings the ticker of the stock in, the name of the stock, and then it brings in three columns I really don't need. So I'm going to right click on these columns and just delete them. The, uh, the shares, the price. So all I have is the ticker and the name. And then I want to add some columns. So I'm going to up here in this yellow section for fields that I'm looking for. I'm going to click there and type the letters G I C and I want the sector name and I'll click on that and hit enter. And I'm going to do G I C S and do the industry name and hit enter on that. You can see it brings up the sector, the industry name, G I type G I C S again and then I'll do the industry group name. And then the last one, G-I-C-S, and I'll bring up the sub-industry name. So just depending on how I want to slice and dice it, it depends on what you're looking for, how you want to organize your stocks by industry or sector. I'm going to bring up all four of those so I have any choice I want to, how I want to sort them. And so now I've got my tickers and the name of the stocks, and I've got all the different industry and sector classifications. So I want to get these into Excel. So I'm going to click Output and tell it I want it to go to Excel. When you do the Excel, you'll get a message that asks you, do you really want to do this? And just click yes. And when you do that, 
this Excel spreadsheet will come up and you can see it has all the stuff that we listed. It has that it's the Russell 3000 index and that those, those columns we deleted, you can see they brought them back in again. The index weight, the shares, the price. I'm gonna select those three columns just by clicking on the columns, hitting my shift key and selecting, uh, selecting over. So I have all three columns. I'm gonna right click and delete those columns. So I just have the industry names also, this, this row that shows me the index name, I'm going to delete that because I don't need that. And so what I will end up with is my ticker, my name, and then all my different industry classifications. Now what I'm trying to do in this particular situation is I want to get all of the stocks related to the auto industry. So I'm going to come over to A2 hit my shift key and my control key and hit the down arrow then the right arrow so I will, I will highlight all of the area and then I will hit data sort and I want to sort by sub industry name and say OK and so I'm looking for th stocks related to the, the auto industry so I'm going to right click on the second row hit my shift key and page down until I find auto. Now you may not be doing auto stocks, you might be doing other classifications, so whatever you want, however you sort it, you decide. But in this case, we're looking for auto stocks. So you can see auto parts and equipment, automobiles and comp com components, auto components, we want those stocks. So I'm gonna delete everything down to that point. And then I'm gonna come down to automobile m manufacturers. Now here I have automotive retail. I could include that. In this particular case, I'm not going to include these stocks. I just want auto parts and equipment, auto, automobile manufacturers. Um, so I want those really related to the core of the auto industry, not, not the retail side. So, and I, I just happen to know there's no other sectors related to automobiles, so I can just select the entire rest of it and delete everything else. So all I have left here are those related to the auto industry. Okay, at this point I can now delete, if I'd like to, I can delete column C, D, E, and F because I know I got the auto stocks I want. So now what I want to do is start bringing in information on these companies. So you can see the companies that I have here. I think what I will do is I will select this area, area here, A2, hit my control button, uh, shift key, control, the down arrow, the right arrow, and I'm going to sort. So you can see the sort button here and say sort, I, my data does not have headers in this case, and sort A to Z, so my A stock comes up first by ticker, my W stock is last, so here's all the stocks that I'm going to use. In the next video, I'll show you how to bring information or data in on these stocks using the Bloomberg add-in.